So today I'm going to speak about heating expansion. Expansion vessels are on all or most modern systems. If you've got a pressure gauge and the pressure goes up and comes back down again, you've got a pressurized system. So expansion vessels are these bits. I've cut one of these open before in another video and there's a diaphragm in the middle. There's an air charge on one side and then you've got your heat and water on the other side. It's where the expansion takes place in the heating system or when the hot water is running, if it's a combi boiler. So when the, the hot water heats up, because it's a sealed system, the volume of the water increases as it heats up. So that needs somewhere to go. And it happens inside here. It compresses the air on the other side of the diaphragm. And then when the, the heat, the heating water cools down again, it comes back to its original position. So it's working like this all the time as the heat, heat in water heats up, it expands, it compresses the, the air on the other side, and then it comes back down when it cools down. Now, if the charge is gone on the other side, or there's a burst in the diaphragm, which happens regularly, these are common for having problems. During a service, that's why one of the reasons why you should service your boiler or service your heating, because these need recharge regularly. They lose the charge. Another place the, the, the air escapes is through the Schrader valve. Now, also, a lot of systems have these undersized, so they need an extra one in the system to take the volume of water. So normally, if there's more than eight radiators or nine radiators in a system, you might need an extra expansion vessel depending on the size of the radiators and the size of the system. Now, if that is faulty or there's not the right charge in it, the water will be released through the pressure relief valve. That's a thing like this. They're not, they don't all look like this. You get brass ones, you get different ones. There's so much different kinds. But this is a little spring inside. And if the, the pressure goes up too high, it releases it out a pipe to outside. You've probably seen pipes sticking out the wall with water dripping from them. It's usually this or the old type of overflow from the, the header tank. So things that go wrong, you might need to replace that or recharge it. We always try and recharge it first. And if it doesn't recharge, you replace it. And then quite often these will get weak and allow the water to escape, which reduces your pressure. So that is usually a typical scenario where your heating pressure is dropping. It's normally caused by these unless you've got another leak on the system or there's dirt gotten in here when it's opened at some point and it's allowing water to come out of it. But you can check that by checking the pipe outside um, and usually if it's a vessel issue, the pressure won't come right down to zero. It'll sit up a bit from, from zero. And that's all. Thank you.